yes, you're lifting it, but you're not as focused on the muscle. Your main yeah, goal yeah. is just push the fucking weight. Yeah. It's like if you load the leg press up and you got all the weight on it, you could have like 15 plates aside, people sitting on top. Your main goal is, I don't want this thing to crush me and kill me. So all you're thinking about is push, yeah, push. Yeah, yeah. And that's too, you know, people say I could have got bigger, but then to get bigger, maybe I would have had to go into the growth hormones and insulin and, you know, do crazy stuff, which I was never into. I just, when it came to drugs, I used the ones that I knew worked and small doses. So people used to be like, well, Lee, imagine if you did this. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but maybe I could have ended up with other problems too, so. You just said how, you know, you've, you've maintained your size and mm-hmm. um, you're still looking good at 52. My question is, if you had your time again in your younger days, now that you know that you can maintain your size without lifting as heavy, mm-hmm. would have you gone as heavy training through your entire career Uh, and if you knew that it would save your body a bit bit of stress or do you think you know lifting heavy was the key probably i probably would have because i think you know because you like training you like to push it maybe you don't really think about it when you're doing it it's like you just do a weight yeah you go i feel strong i can add more so i was never one of those to try and aim for a heavy weight so I'd probably, like I said, that most of the squad was like just a bit over seven plates, but I'd normally stuck around the five just on working sets generally, but I still did like the seven and a bit for six, but I'd probably still go heavy, but just like I said, you always just want to, like I said, if you're doing like if you're doing the 150 dumbbell, you're like, that was easy, I'll try the 160, I'll try the 170. So if, if they were there and you felt good, you'd use it. But if the gym didn't have, if the heaviest dumbbell, like a few gyms you went to, they only had 150s, you'd just stick and make do with them because like I said, you can do flies first and pre-exhaust your chest so you know 150 is still a good weight yep but some days if you felt strong you would go heavy you wouldn't go heavy all the time like joe gold made me the 200 pound dumbbells but i might just stick around the 160s but on a good day i'd throw the 200s up but i wouldn't do it all the time so it's like i always didn't want to like he'd always got scared of being injured and you know and the thing is too it's like i done them once you know you do them too but it's almost like when you go that heavy Yes, you're lifting it, but you're not as focused on the muscle. Your main yeah, goal yeah. is just push the fucking weight. Yeah. It's like if you load the leg press up and you got all the weight on it, you could have like 15 plates aside, people sitting on top. Your main goal is, I don't want this thing to crush me and kill me. So all you're thinking about is push, yeah, push. Yeah, yeah. If I go half the weight, now I'm like, okay, squeeze the muscle, tense the muscle, and you're more got that mind-muscle connection. Whereas if you're going super heavy, it's all about... You don't really have the mind-muscle connection. You're just focused on lifting the fucking weight and not getting killed or injured. So I'd rather go that little bit lighter and really focus on the actual muscle moving. So how many reps did you get out of the 200-pound dumbbells? I do about six. I always did six. I wouldn't go any less than six. If I couldn't do six, I'd be too heavy. Like even five, I'd be like I'd go lighter. I I never did singles or twos or threes. I was always six would have to be my minimum. Yeah. And never mm. any more than 200? No. <laughs> that was bad enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, but at what age do you think that you stopped getting bigger? I'd probably say late 20s, early 30s. And that's too, you know, people say I could have got bigger, but then to get bigger, maybe I would have had to go into the growth hormones and insulin and, you know, do crazy stuff, which I was never into. I just... When it came to drugs, I used the ones that I knew worked and small doses. So people used to be like, well, Lee, imagine if you did this. I'm like, yeah, but maybe I could have ended up with other problems too. So I just never on the drug side abused it. So, And then off-season too, I figured I probably could have been better too because my off-season, a lot of guys when they have off-seasons, they still eat five meals or yeah. six meals plus a bit of junk. Whereas me, I just ate whatever I felt like when I felt like it. There yeah. might have been some days I only had two meals a day. And yeah. maybe just a couple of shakes. So I was never regimented. Whereas if I had been more regimented in the off season while I was training heavy, maybe I could have added a bit more size that way too. But off season to me was just like I didn't want to follow a diet. I didn't want to follow any plan. It was just me being normal, yeah. training and just enjoying life, going somewhere and not have to worry about, oh, it's time to eat a meal. It's like, you know, it could be six hours before I ate again. And my friend Mike just living with me goes, oh, fuck, you must have great genetics. I said, why? He goes, well, you're living with me for almost a year. It's like some days you barely fucking eat anything and you still got your size and we train you're still strong so he's like imagine if you actually fucking ate properly and stuff i'm like yeah maybe but i just enjoyed what i was doing so 
I didn't want to make it too regimented when it didn't have to be because you know come contest time then it was I was full on eat at this time train yeah, at that yeah, time yeah. everything had to be by the clock so when I wasn't getting ready for a show I didn't want nothing that was regimented <laughs> oh and you don't know you look back and you go oh you know may- maybe if you had have done everything mm. like the, the mystical perfect <laughs> way oh yeah that you might you might have got sick of uh, exactly, or like who that. knows? And who knows? Maybe if I had got bigger and stronger, and like I said, okay, I squatted at seven. I thought that was great. You know, maybe if I had taken more drugs and got that little bit more strength and gone to eight, fuck, I could have torn a leg or something. So yeah. there's so many things that could have been good, but also there's a lot of negative stuff that could have happened by pushing the envelope more. So I'm just happy with what I did. So yeah, 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 and just really, really. That's like now when I go to the gym, I don't. Because i got like the tricep at the moment that's a bit torn and this shoulder still a bit. I just started at BPC157 to see if it helps. And then it's just like I just do what I can. People are like, oh, what are you trained today? I'm like, the last this last week I just, I did legs, what was it, Tuesday. But the two days before that and Wednesday i just been going in. I'll do like cable crossovers, four sets. Then I go do lap pull downs for. I won't go over 50 kilos at the moment. I'm not extending my arm all the way. I'm just yeah. keeping it so I don't stretch the tricep. If I do the chest press machine, I'm just like here. Yeah. So lately, I've just been doing like a circuit thing. I'll do a four, yeah. four exercise on chest, then go to back. Then I might go do some push downs and go do some barbell, then go do some cable lateral. So it's just like a whole, like an hour and a half. I just do like a circuit type thing. For upper body and then i said if i get a good pump and i haven't injured anything that's a win so but don't don't you find that um that that's actually really enjoyable doing i do it, i actually it? have a good workout yeah, yeah. nothing set in yeah. Yeah, sometimes if when it was like the old days it was like chest i'd be like okay i got crossovers and now i've got dumbbell press and i'm like oh fuck now i've got incline press i start thinking about what i got to do ahead of time thank you and it starts to piss me yeah. off i'm like oh that's boring but now because i go in i'm like okay what what machine's free okay i'll do that one next and you know so i just like i said and i get i've been getting the great pump like even the other day i was going light as shit but i was getting the biggest pump ever i'm thinking fuck i got a good pump and you know have you ever done stuff where you train that hard your chest and you get a good pump you go to move and you get the worst cramp yeah, I'm like, yeah. fuck did i tear something it's all my tricep i'm like I felt like my tricep tore because just the cramp and the how tight it is from being pumped i'm like oh, that's good so if I walk out with no new injuries and a good pump, I'm happy. So, <laughs> oh, oh, the Easter bunny's been hot cross buns. Well, thank you. Are they hot? Look at that. It's got fruit in it, so it's healthy. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus died so we could have these. And people are going to get pissed off because you're eating. They get pissed off because I'm eating. They get pissed off if I do an exercise. Oh, he's breathing heavy. <laughs> I oh, wait that. up. Oh, look, I've got a, a really good one for you. Do you read that one? Why is he breathing heavy? Well, he just finished a set of squats and you asked him a question. After telling about your workout hmm. with lightweight, great pump, hmm. like I'm not saying you would have done them every workout back in your late 20s, 30s, but do you think for your career and longevity... If I had have done that... Not every workout, but you know, you do more often, one. yeah, yeah, probably, probably because I said your joints can only take so much. Mm. Now, look at Ronnie, okay, it could be other things, but when you are pounding the joints all the time, because I actually think that sometimes when I do leg press or squats, I'd be thinking, okay, I'm strong, but how much is enough, you know? Mm. Uh, yeah, I feel strong, and you got 10 plates or more, or you're doing this. When you really look at the joints and the connective tissues, you figure, you know, what's that straw that's going to break the camel's back? It could go at any time. So I always wonder, that's like, yeah, I can take it, but the body itself, how much can it take? So it used to get scary. What I think is if you just do it gradually, consistently, mm-hmm. and it's when you do, um, you know, I've seen guys come in here. Well, I think if you have like heavy days, maybe have a couple in a row but then yeah. maybe a week or so go maybe 70 percent mm. maybe do lighter pump ones and then go back to heavy ones because really if you're pounding heavy 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 all the time yeah sometimes the muscle might not be recovered you might have those little tears in it still and you make it a bigger tear so you know just going constantly heavy is silly so I used to really generally i used to go by how i felt you know if i felt like really strong i'll go heavy if i didn't feel it because there are people i know who they might be doing bench press and they bench press three plates next workout three plates 
next one they go to do and you just know you might get the two two and a quarter you're like fuck this feels heavy today mm. but you're like no the last two times i did three i gotta do three again but it's your body telling you saying listen if two and a half is starting to feel really heavy don't try three maybe like i said i'd, I'd do something different i might go do the flies first and other stuff first so by the time you get the bench two plates is all you really need because you're already pre-exhausted you got blood in there yeah. already but I think when people get so hooked up on, I did this last time, I have to do it again. But like I said, if you're starting to struggle before you even get to that weight, that's your body saying, hey, maybe just go a bit easier today and go a bit lighter. But then you try and push it and, <coughs> oh, peck went. <laughs> that could be on any exercise. So it's always best, like I said, if your body's giving you little it, clues, listen to yeah. it. Oh, it's so hard because it's... Like, Ego gets yeah. in the way, hold on. And then if your training partner's feeling good and he's doing it, you're like... Well, fuck, I don't want him to show me up. He's doing it. I want to do it too. But you got to be, like I said, if you want to be in it for a while, going a bit lighter one day is not going to hurt. Then you go heavy again next week, you know, compared to yeah. if you tear your peck and you've got a few months off, then you're really shit. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's such a fine line, isn't uh -huh. it? Like giving in or being mm -hmm. smart. So, um, yeah, it all depends. And it's not really, I said, it can be, like I said, it's more of a mental thing because I did this weight, I was up near three, but now I've got to go back to two and a half. It's like an ego, oh, why am I going lighter? I must be getting weaker, losing muscle. No, it's just your body saying it's not recovered. So listen, do it. Mm. And then next week you can maybe go back to that. So 